What's up, everybody? We're here at the wheel spot. So, guys, we were we have this beautiful day out today, and I was like, well, I want to go to the wheelie spot because I have for a couple of reasons. Because I want to vlog. Am I in a second? I am in a second. All right. Because I want to do wheelies as usual. I want to talk to you guys about the uh, phone mount. I get tons of questions all the time. Uh, Chase, what's holding your phone on? And uh, I wanted to let you guys know because, you know, you get questions all the time. And Oh, man, I miss being doing wheelies, man. Holy crap. See, I wanted to tell you guys about my phone mount because uh, it's amazing. And it combined with a Cena is absolutely stupid awesome. So uh, basically what it is is a RAM mount. Um, it's, that's what it's called. You can get it on Amazon. I'll uh, put a link below in the description for you to check out RAM mount. And it's basically like a modular phone holding system. I'll pull over a second. I'll pull right over right here and let you guys look at the actual piece. So, um, i get this phone out of the way and put it down here. So the mount is this little like clamp thing. This is the actual piece that holds the phone. And the way it works is I have this, uh, I'll talk about how I have it installed because I have this installed on both bikes. So this piece, this little clamp piece is the actual piece that holds the phone. Like you just pull the clamp, oop, pull the clamp down, right? You just put your phone in there. You guys, if you hear something in the background, there's a guy, there's a couple guys over here stunting. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that holds the phone and that's one piece. You have to buy that one piece separately. Then you buy this little connector rod and you can probably get it in a set. I imagine you can. I'll turn the bike off for this. And for here on T, I have the, um, the bar mount, which is basically a U, a little U piece of metal on this rubber thing with a little ball joint and this thing just unspin or loosens up you can see that then you just tighten it on there you grab the phone mount piece you put it in here and then um you just tighten it a little bit so it doesn't come undone and the beautiful thing about that is you can mount it you can see i can tighten it however i want it's really freaking cool so i love this thing I love, love, love it. I, I have it on both bikes. You gotta be careful to not to put it on with your, um, with it touching the volumes or rockers or the power thing on your phone, depending on what phone you have. So it holds the phone really well. And uh, obviously this is on my Supermoto, but I have the same thing on my, uh, on my R6. The way the R6 one is, hold on. Yeah, the R6 one goes into this little, little triple tree mount it's it's this weird little thing it looks like a little ice cream cone and you stick it in your triple tree mount and you mark off where the uh you mark off where it kind of touches the triple tree and then uh as soon as you mark off where it is on the triple tree and then you actually like cut the thing with like a little blade and uh, then you gotta like shove it into there and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I'll go down there and talk to those guys in a second. But a lot of you guys, I get a lot of comments and they're like, oh, you, uh, your phone's gonna drop or something like that. I can promise you, this thing, I, I go out and I do these wheelies all the time and my phone has never dropped out of the case. So I can guarantee you guys, this thing is like fucking safe as shit. I feel like those guys are gonna come over here in a second. Or not. <laughs> or they're just gonna keep trying to be awesome. Um, these, some of these guys are like fucking legit. I wanna see this guy do his, oh my good God. Oh, the wall thing, that's amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah guys this is super fucking stable it's called a ram mount you gotta buy it individually it's kind of like it, it's resembled of a gopro where you have to buy like five pieces to do one thing but it works extremely well <laughs> that's awesome uh yeah but you get uh, so this piece is the the phone mount 
the uh, ball joint connector and then the the bar joint and that's to hold it on my supermoto because I've got this bar the R6 doesn't have a bar like that but you do have a whole little hole in a triple tree mount and that's the foam mount I use that paired with a Cena the the reception is like really freaking well and I like it a lot I recommend you guys grabbing one if you're looking for like a foam mount or something like that like I said there will be links in the description to check it out <sighs> There will be links in the description to check it out. And, um, good lord, that guy's just, oh shit. He literally just grabbed his handlebars with one hand. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, there'll be links in the description. If you're in the UK, there's going to be a separate link because for some reason the US um, Amazon link doesn't work for you guys. But you can grab them off Amazon. They're pretty fucking cheap. I like it a lot. Highly recommend it. I've put it to good use. Look at that shit. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah guys, it seems like a lot of stunting going on. I'm gonna probably do a few less wheelies now. Moral of the story, if you want something to hold your phone, there's not, like ram mount's the only one that you really need and it works stupidly well. Uh, ram mounts are awesome, I really love mine. I recommend you guys grabbing one if you, uh, if you want to get in in the little phone mount game. But yeah, I love having a foam mount, and if as long as they're like as stable as they are, like the ram mount, you're pretty solid, man. Anyway, that's my pretty girlfriend. I'm going to go try to talk to these people, and I will see you guys in the next video. Come check me out on Twitch. <laughs>